Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. If you're new here, my name's Karen, I'm the Junk Journal Geek and a very warm welcome to you whether you are new or you're a returning visitor. So today I'm here to do the full flip through of Lorelei, which is the autumn journal I've been working on. Um, she was named by my daughter. I mentioned a few videos ago um, that my middle daughter had named her when she had a look through what I was doing. Um, but from now on, any journal I make um, will be named by the members of my new group. I will be putting posts in the group and asking for name suggestions. So if that sounds like something fun you'd like to join in with, please come over and join my new Facebook group. Um, we have all sorts of things going on in there. There's lots of opportunities for you to share your work and have a nosy of what everybody else is doing and look at all the eye candy of all the lovely pictures. So this journal is sort of semi hard. I suppose it would be like a paperback book for, with a normal book. Um, it's covered with fabric. It measures eight and a half inches tall by six and a quarter inches wide. It has a one and a half inch spine, 200 pages front and back. And as you can see, um, she has turned into a bit of a chunky monkey. So um, I made the um, topper on camera. So you've seen that before, you know what that's made of. And I've just used some old sari silk as a closure um, just to keep it together because it is a bit of a giant one as my journals tend to be and that um, sari silk is just held on with a little button on each side. I hope the lighting's okay it's really really gloomy here today in the UK so I've got my desk light on and I hope that that's enough for you to see properly um, without too many shadows. So inside the front cover, again, I think I made the camera on, um, I made the cover on camera, I believe. Um, it's lined on the inside. The outside's obviously covered with the fabric and then the inside is lined with um, scrapbooking paper and some card. I put a little pocket on the inside of each front cover, two little pockets actually. Um, and then there's a big tag in the back and in the front there's just some um, little pieces of leftover ephemera. Most of these are not backed or inked or anything. They're just put in there so that whoever gets the journal can use them to further work in the journal. Um, that one has been backed, but obviously onto a piece of junk mail, <laughs> a junk mail flyer. Um, so obviously, if you wanted to use that to write on, that would need to be backed with some um, paper of some sort. But if you just wanted it for decoration or to make a little tuck spot, you know, I, I thought glue that on two sides and use it as a tuck spot somewhere. So that was my thoughts. Um, I will leave below the kits I used. They were mainly two kits. Um, they were both autumn kits, one from Sunny Creates and one from Val's Crafts Creations. Uh, we have a little lace pocket here with another big journal card and at the top there I've just used one of these leaves as a topper with a little button and some gold thread through it. Um, there's Most of the things in here have been inked with vintage photo um, and a little bit of gold on some of the things. There's another couple of tags in there in that pocket. Um, a lot of these things have been stitched as well. Then we have an envelope here. The flap has been stuck down across the middle to make a tuck spot in the top and the bottom. And then we have this little ribbon tab acting as a belly band across here. There's lots and lots of blank pages in this journal um, for people to, you know, whoever receives the journal can either write in here, stick photos in, just decorate the pages, you know, whatever they want to do, there's plenty of space to do it. But I have, I think there's quite a lot of decorative elements in here as well to keep it interesting. So we've got a double pocket here, one at the back with a tag in, and then one at the side with a journal card. These papers were absolutely beautiful and I really love the way 
this journal has turned out. I'm really pleased with it. Um, just got some crochet trim on some of these page edges. Pages are different sizes because um, one of the kits I used was a four size and the other kit was US letter size. So the pages are different sizes, but it's a junk journal. <laughs> um, that's the centre of the first signature. I was umming and ahhing with this. I was going to put buttons on the bottom of the centre mm. strings. Then I was going to use um, charms and I just couldn't find anything I was happy with. So in the end, I've just tied it in a bow. So you've still got the length. And then whoever has this journal can obviously either cut that off or add their own dangles to it and make it their own. So here we've got one of my pages of pockets that I like to do. So we've got one, two, three, four pockets here, all sort of staggered and layered. And each pocket has got a journal card in it. Um, and then this one's got an envelope that was from one of the kits with a few little, as I say, little leftover ephemera pieces in there. And then there is an original piece of vintage ephemera, which is a Brook Bond tea card. You can see that. Max is trying to get under my desk, so I'm sorry if you can hear a bit of clanking about there. There's a tin of buttons under there and he's knocking it, so it's making a clanky sound. So yeah, what do you think of this journal? What do you think of the colours? What do you think of the name? Would you, would you have called her something different? Let me know in the comments. These um, papers are not um, from the kit. These are my own digital papers that I made to go alongside the kit. This is the other half of that envelope. So this is the actual envelope side. Um, I've covered the front with that card to make it a proper pocket, you know, so you didn't have the V there. Just decorated it with a postcard. There's a bit of gold around there. Max, what have you got? Max is eating an envelope and a piece of cardboard under the desk. Uh, yeah, so the envelope is a pocket that so has a journal card in. And then on the other side, um, I've just put one of those. Um, oh, I can't think what that's called. It'll come back to me in a minute. Just made that into a tuck spot and tucked a piece of ephemera in there. Again, that's not backed or anything. It's just ready to be used. Got a big journal card in that up tuck there. This is ephemera from the one of the kits. This isn't. This is um, this is a page from one of the digital collage club kits that I used um, making a previous journal, and I had quite a few pages left over. Um, so I just I thought the colours went well with the colours in this journal. So I've literally just folded the page in half, stuck it together to make a journal card. Um, this was the hidden pocket thingy that I made on camera with you all. So we've got quite a lot of stuff here. There's a large journal card in the back. Again, that paper is from the Digital Collage Club. And then we just, this is ephemera from one of the kits. This is paper from one of the kits. This isn't. I can't remember what went where now. Um, again, that's ephemera from the kit, as is that. So we've just got lots of little pockets there. And when you take that out, obviously that's not apparent that that is... Um, that that page is full of pockets. This lady is Lorelei. She is the lady on the front. In my head, she's Lorelei. <laughs> and then here we have a pocket from one of the kits and we've just got a tag and a couple of journal cards in there. Just a little, this, these pockets were made from 
one of these a piece of um it's a used envelope that's come through the mail and i've just um covered it inked it and we've got another pocket there got journal space and another pocket so so there's lots of places to stick things in tuck things in do some writing do some artwork if that's what takes your fancy got a couple of journal a, a tag and a journal card in that pocket more crochet trim i absolutely love this bird I really, really love this bird. Um, this tag I made on camera. This is um, just a big tag I made. To fit. So this is a double pocket. This is not all in one pocket. There's a pocket at the back there. And then there's a pocket here. Um, I believe this is made from another used envelope. Um, and... You saw me working with these little gnomes. I absolutely love those. That was a different digi kit. Um, and again, one of those leaves as a little tab tag topper um, because I like the way they look. You know, I like all this frou frou at the top of the journal. And then there's the center of the second signature. There's three signatures in this book. I don't know if I mentioned that. And again, I've just tied it in a bow. And then we have these um, three. They could be belly bands or bookmarks were part of the kit. And I've just cut them out, stitched them and then stuck them down as three belly bands and then just layered all this stuff in there. So we've got another original piece of vintage ephemera there a tea card we have a journal card we have a little tag we have an envelope from one of the kits and in there is another little journal card and at the back we have a bigger journal card so i don't think i will try and get everything back in there i will leave that and do it off camera Otherwise, we'll be all day watching me fiddle about with that. Another one of those lovely birds. So I think these two kits went really well together. Um, I think because they're both autumn themed, the colours work well together. And although the styles are very different, this is from Val's kit, the fall florals. Um, and these with the pumpkins, I believe that was from... Uh, sunny creates kit but they work well together i think another journal card in there and then i i tried to pick colors from the kit and um, to create my own digital papers to use on the backs of the kit pages then we have another lace pocket here another large journal card and then in this envelope again which is from the kit i've just popped in there um a lot of the ephemera pieces that i haven't used so that they're ready to be used in the journal another one of these little envelope pockets with a journal card another pocket from the kit with a journal card more of my papers and then here this is um you can probably tell this is an old used window envelope so i just decorated it up stuck it down as a double pocket then i've made this big tag to go in here uh, so that this little image fit in that window because I thought it looked pretty. So that goes in the actual envelope. And then we have another pocket behind which has a journal card inside. And then we're into the final signature. 
So here, I think I did this on camera with you. We've got the layered pockets and there's a journal card in each of the pockets. I won't take them all out. You can, you can see how they look. And there is one in the back as well, which is a little trickier to get hold of because of the back, the, you know, the page behind it is quite near the edge. But there is one in there, so it's good for secret journaling. And then a couple of extra pieces of ephemera tucked into this little belly band that I popped on the front, um, just made from that ribbon. So if you have any questions about any of this, um, please do ask in the comments below. I did mention before that I was launching my um, membership for junk journalers in the UK to receive a surprise box every month full of bits to junk journal with. Um, that is now live, so I will try and remember to leave a link um, below for that as well in case anybody is watching and is interested. It's got another couple of journal cards in the little top corner pocket there. This is more of my paper. And then we have another one of these envelope pockets. So again, I've just popped on a little tuck spot in the corner there. That's just a piece of ephemera that's not been backed or anything. On the other side, I've done the same again, just decorated the envelope with card and a postcard and then popped a little journal card in there. Another page of pockets here. So again, each pocket has something tucked in. I haven't put anything. If you take all this out, these, the, this is a tuck spot and this is a tuck spot and this is tuck spot as well. So there is plenty of room to hide other things um, if you want to. But I can't remember what I had where now. <laughs> Was that one in there? I can't remember. But anyhow, that's how it all goes. There's bits, bits all over the place there for you to play with. And then this is another little tuck spot with a journal card inside. This lovely chap is another one of those double envelope pockets. So there's a tag in the back there and a journal card in the side there. Sorry about Max, he's just decided that he wants to go out even though I've just let him out before I turn the camera on. So I'm sure he can wait. Now we're into the middle of the third signature. Got another envelope pocket here. So we've got a journal card in the back or a tag in the back and a journal card in the side there. More of my papers, more kit pages. And then we have here just a little collaged window envelope. Um, that I've actually used as a page this time rather than an envelope because I wanted to frame this image. And then this is a belly band from one of the kits and in there I've just made this really scrappy little notebook with some leftover bits of paper um, and tucked it in there. So I say that is very scrappy. Is this the one? Yeah, this was the one that has my daughter's birthday on there. That's my youngest daughter. And then we have another page of pockets. Again, there's a journal card or something tucked in each pocket. There's an envelope in that pocket. And there's another um, tea card, original tea card in there. So there is some original ephemera in here. This is the other side of the envelope. So it's the same thing again. We have a tuck, a tuck spot top and bottom and the belly band in the middle there. More of my papers, more kit pages. Oops. And we have a little corner tuck there 
with another one of these big tags with the leaf and the button and just a piece of ephemera there. I've inked that, but I didn't back it with anything because I thought you might want to write on that and stick it somewhere with a picture. Um, but if you did want to use it, you know, as something more substantial, it would need to be backed because it is just printed on paper. Coming to the end now. Oh, I've got a bit of junk mail in here because I was waiting for the glue to dry. I forgot to take it out. And we'll get to that in a moment. And there we are, we are at the back. So again, we've got the um, tie held on, well, the buttons stitched to the fabric the sari silk and then that's all just stuck down we've got another double pocket same as the front big tag in the back and then just some pieces of ephemera tucked in the front here so that's how she's looking what do you think do you like her do you think it's worked using those two kits together with the extras from other places let me know what you think um, this journal hasn't been claimed yet, so if you're interested, let me know. Um, I will try and remember to leave all the relevant links in the description box below, as I say. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, I'll be happy to hear from you. So that's how she's looking. Lorelei is complete. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you liked that. Um, I'll be back with you again as soon as I can. In the meantime, take care, look after yourselves and enjoy your own crafty time. Bye bye.